Welcome to the second video on how to use the TriCaster XD system with High School Cube. In this video, we will show you how to set up an event on the High School Cube site and then how to set up the TriCaster to stream into that event. You should have already watched and configured your TriCaster from the previous video. If you haven't watched that video, please stop and do that configuration first, as this video depends upon those steps. What you see in this video will need to be performed each time you're going to stream a new event. First, we need to go into our project and click on the Start Live Production button. Once you're in your project, the first thing we need to do is find out what kind of internet streaming speeds you have available. This can be done by clicking the gear next to the stream icon. In the streaming connection window that opens, from your connection list, select the drop-down arrow and select Speed Test. This will open up the Speed Test website, and once the tool opens, click on the Begin Test button to start your performance test. Once you click that button, you'll see a few different tests performed. There'll be a ping test, then a download speed test, but the one that we are interested in is the upload speed test. Once the test is completed, what we want to take is this upload speed and convert this into a kilobits per second rating, because that's how most profiles are listed. To do that, just move the decimal point three places to the right. So in my case, 1.48 megabits turns into 1,480 kilobits. Using this number, we can now select the appropriate profile in the, to use with the High School Cube network. A simple rule of thumb is that we want to have one and a half times more bandwidth available than what we're trying to stream at. Or, to put it another way, take this number and we want to use two-thirds that value for our streaming profile. So in my case, I'm looking somewhere between 900 and 1,000 kilobits as a good value to use for streaming. So, once we have our value, click on the drop-down list and select High School Cube from the selections. In the window that opens, we first need to select our profile. That can be done by clicking the little arrow next to High School Cube to open up uh, our additional settings. And where it says Streaming Profile, we need to select that drop-down list and select the appropriate High School Cube profile that's available. In my case, I'm going to use the 950 kilobits because that's close or right in the middle of the numbers that I got from my uh, performance test. Once we've done that, we need to log into the site so that we can set up our event. Once we're logged in, click the little gear with the drop-down arrow next to it and select Add New Event. In the window that opens, start entering your event information. Uh, enter a time for your event to happen, additional information, uh, any other people or schools that you want to be notified uh, with this. On the second window, you can select your scoreboard information, um, people from your broadcast crew so they can get associated with this event, and then click the Get Event Code button found at the bottom. And this has the value or the information we're looking for that we need to enter into our stream ID. So highlight this six character code, right click on it and choose copy, then come up and click in the stream ID field, right click in there and select paste. Once you've done that, the next thing we need to get is our location information. So click on the go to studio link that you'll find right here. This will allow you to verify your event information. Uh, click on the Continue to Test Your Broadcast link, or button. And then in this window that appears, uh, this to the right of it has the location that needs to go into this field here. So, select that, and again, right-click on it and choose Copy. Then click in the Location field and choose Paste. Once you've got that information entered, click on the Test Connection button, and this will start up the Internet stream. Give it a few seconds and uh, you should see the stream appear of whatever is going on your program output. Once you've verified that your stream is playing in here, you can now stop the connection. And then, uh, as a last thing we need to do, is put the final location stream in here. And that is the bottom stream here under number three. So select this one, choose copy, and paste that into this location instead. 
and you are now ready to stream on High School Cube. Press the OK button, and then when your event is ready to start, all you need to do is come over here and click the Stream button, and your stream will be pushed out to the High School Cube network. It would be recommended to have a second computer uh, available to you at the time when you go to do this, just so you can verify that the stream is going out at that point in time. Uh, and when your stream is completed, you'll just click the Stream button again. That will stop the stream. You will see a window like you just saw happen last time where it will ask if you also want to save the stream that you just created, and you can choose to do that as well. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you enjoy your TriCaster XD system and High School Cube.